by Greg. He's showing us some skills that we have not seen before. Over the right eye, you saw between rounds, Eddie Futch working on a small cut. It's ready to get wider. Okay, this reminds me a little bit of Roach and Cordova. Yeah, a little bit, although I think Roach fought much better in that fight, and Cordova uh, was much more aggressive than Haugen was. Haugen, the same style fighter, doesn't back up a bit. Very much, yeah, very aggressive, although he doesn't throw as many punches as Tommy Cordova, but yes, Look he, at, might, he might be a little stronger. Look at Haugen pushing Roach around, getting the shoulder in there. And throwing some punches. Davy Pro continues to warn Hogan about using those elbows. You may have to take a point away at some point to stop it. Hasn't happened to this point. It's been a big round for Greg Hogan. Roach, not sharp. And this could be. Well, there's a good combination. Just as I say it. A good left cut rocks Roach and he goes down. Haugen exults over him. And a wobbly Freddie Roach looks around trying to figure out where he is. And the Tory eight count. Where are we at? Civil. Okay, you heard it. Late in the round. Left hook. Roach is finished. It's all over. in all kinds of trouble. He knew where he was, but boy, he was in all kinds of problems down. Haugen just came in to finish it off, landed the good left hook, and Davey Pearl wisely stopped it. For Greg Haugen, what an, what an important victory, and there may be a John Meekins lurking in his future. Well, Greg Haugen certainly was not in awe of the more experienced Freddie Roach. He had worked with Roach in the gym, felt he had the better of Roach, and it proved, he proved that tonight. Let's go to Chuck Hull for the official decision and announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Davey Pearl stops the bout at two minutes, 49 seconds of the seventh round. The winner by a TKO and still undefeated, Greg Haugen. 12-0-1, Greg Haugen stops Freddie Roach in the seventh round. Al will be talking with Greg Haugen in just a moment. Tell Al Bernstein along with Greg Haugen who had, I guess what had to be his most impressive victory as a pro, although you say you're a little tight at the beginning. Yeah, I was real loose, or real tight. I couldn't get loose. You know, I, Freddie's a tough guy. I sparred with him before. He's tough, you know, and before I say anything else, I'd like to say hi to my two daughters, Cassie and Jasmine, and their mother, my mother, and everyone in Auburn, Seattle. And hi to Joe in San Diego. All right, we, oh, we've strayed from Washington. Let's not get into other states now, Greg. Listen, you were, I thought, uh, very adept at counter-punching him, and you showed, I thought, more uh, combination punching, perhaps. Yeah, I've been working on that in the gym. Stan's taught me how to throw a better left hook. You know, I knew Freddie was tough. I knew he was going to be right there in front of me. I just felt I was too strong for him, and I had to, you know, I was a little tentative in the first four or five rounds. Stan kept telling me if I want to win the fight, I got to win it, you know, for my kids, and that kind of spurred me on. And, no, I just feel tight, and I have right. to get loose. Okay, let's take a look at the first knockdown, where you will throw one of those good left hooks, a countering shot. Tell us about it. Well, I kept, you know, I seen he kept coming in. He kept trying to throw a right, 
you know, and I knew it was just a matter of time before I caught him. Caught him with a good left. I caught him with another one on the way down. But I didn't think he was hurt that bad. And then when he seen him get up, back up to the ropes, and I went in, faked him out, kind of. And then I hit him with another one, and then a hard right hand right there. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I guess you would. Now, this win uh, probably means a lot to you because you've beaten the fighter, and even though perhaps Freddie might be headed toward the downhill slide, he's still a very tough man who just lost a close decision to Chacon. Where does this put you in, in terms of the lightweights? Chacon. I think I'll knock Chacon out, too, if he wants to fight me. I want to fight someone that Freddie fought. You know, I knew Freddie was tough, and it was a step up. 38 and 8, everyone didn't hear it, didn't think I had a chance, except for me. All right, Greg. Schedule drove.